They don't don't really implement this gate physically. But this is a very uh, useful gate that you appear in many algorithms. We will decompose it when we do the final physical implementation. But it has a lot of uh, uh, special meaning and also good as an exercise because it's three qubit, right? So what is the definition? If you look at this, you say a Toffoli gate is called control, control knob. Can you guess what you mean by control, control? It means you need, you unfortunately, not just one people controlling you, you have two people controlling you. So if both of them are one, then you do something. Control, control, right? So that is how the definition is 3 qubits, so it has eight base states, zero, 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 nothing changed. Zero, zero, one, nothing changed. Same, and even uh, until one, one, zero, it becomes one, one, one. 1, 1, 1 becomes 1, 1, 0, right? So the easiest thing is just to write it in an equation. Toffoli gate applied to A, B, C. What is A, B, C? Again, what can be their value? 0 and 1. We have 3 QB, right? Again, they're just the label of the basis state. The label. You can say happy or sad. doesn't have to be 0 or 1, okay? <clears throat> the definition is A, B, I mean the the, the follow the after you applying the gate it is A B and now I try to add the comma to make it clear. Right? A B C is clear, it has three qubit, right? Now I make it clear because I'm going to apply an equation. A dot B exclusive of C, yes. Exclusive or let me remind you what is exclusive or one more time. What is exclusive or zero exclusive or zero equal to what? Zero. Zero exclusive or one equals to one. One exclusive zero equal to one. One exclusive one equals to zero. Good. So let's take a look what happened. It's very interesting. If A dot B equals to zero, right? Here dot is what? N, right? You treat it as an N. If it is equal to zero, then what do you got? You get C zero exclusive C, right? Then it is C. It means unchanged. And that's why it's a control control. The A and B is a, if any of the A and B is zero, then the whole thing unchanged, right? But what if A dot B equals to one? Then you get what? One exclusive zero. What is one exclusive zero? Look at this. One exclusive root equal to one. One exclusive one equal to zero. And C can be zero or one, right? This is just the log of the C, right? So this is what you learn in logic. If you don't know, I tell you. One exclusive a bit give you the knot of that bit. That I prove it to you already on top, right? So you see that this is what? Just a knot gate. But it's a classical knot gate, remember? Okay, it's a knot gate. Yeah, of course, a classical knot gate. Of, uh, doesn't matter. The knot gate in the classical is the same as the knot gate in quantum for the basic state, right? If C equal to zero, what happened? A, B, zero, 
equals to a b a dot b exclusive zero, right? If I apply the Toffoli gate to a state which has C as zero, this is your A, B, A dot B exclusive zero, right? Anything exclusive with zero is equal to itself. Zero exclusive zero is zero, one exclusive zero is zero, right? So it means this is equal to A, B, A dot B. What do you get? This is just a classical and gate. Right? So the interesting thing about Toffoli gate is if you pick the input correctly, you can construct the end gate or not gate. And you have learned digital logic before. Any gate, classical gate, can be formed by the NOT gate and the AND gate. If you have a LAN gate, you can form any circuit. So it is a universal gate for a classical circuit, right? It's a quantum gate, but I told you quantum gate is the same as a classical gate if we only consider the basis state. Right? So this is uh, in the Toffoli gate. Can, therefore, can be used as the universal gate in classical circuit okay it can form any circuit so you in principle can transform the whole cpu in your computer to be just formed by Toffoli gate that's the special thing about it right so but but at this point i hope you can appreciate that the Toffoli gate is has effect right if, if, if a and b they are, uh, one of them is zero, C is unchanged. So you don't change the basis state until you have a one, one, zero or one, 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 until both A and B are equal to one. Yeah. So I guess the last thing that you had is the fully gated quantum gates is what, is what a man is in class. No, it's not an, an, an. Uh, that depends. Yeah, you. Yeah, I won't say that it's a LAN. I will say that you can be use it as a NOT gate or a LAN gate. Then you have multiple portfolio gate. Then you can form it. Then you, of course you can form the LAN, right? As long as you have a NOT, you have N. Then you can form any type of gate in classical circuits. Yeah, but, but you cannot have the LAN gate at the same time. You need two Toffoli gate, right? One of them, you put the input uh, AB equal to one, then you get a NOT gate. Another, you put a C equal to zero, then you get a LAN gate. Then both of them becomes a LAN gate. Universal, it means you can form anything by using a Toffoli gate, yeah? So can you guess what the matrix look like? A by A. A by A, very good, right? The first thing is the size. Why is A by A? Because it is three qubits, so two to the power of three, right? And then based on what we have discussed, can you guess One zero 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 zero. A lot of writing. I suggest you not to write it. Only I write it. Right.
this all diagonal at the beginning until the last two it becomes a not gate right and we understand the reason we do this is because this row uh, uh, no, no, I will explain you in the next slide actually let's do some uh exercise right for example if t times one one zero what does it look like what is one one zero in the column representation six zero and then and then one zero because again it represents i have zero components of zero 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 one zero one zero all the way here i have one component of one one zero zero component of one 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 is that clear now there are two and multiplication not difficult right t times this one column times a uh, row times column what do i get this one column times row uh, i mean row times column what do i get zero right because you multiply this first element by this first element plus this element plus this element you only get long zero if the corresponding part both are zero right this one has the first one one and this is zero no way right so that's why i get zero for the first one second is also zero because the second one is the second one is one but here is still the seventh is one right so i keep doing this and eventually i find that one two three four five six seven only the last row i have the seventh element is one and this is seven element is one right that's why it achieved the purpose of making this one component of one 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 is this okay anyone clear Any questions? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, oh, okay. This is not gate, right? So it's like uh, C gate. It will be uh, what the C gate one negative one. Bigger become a control control phase shift gate in plus minus basis. So it's also Oh, only not general phase shift but the c yeah phase shift 100 degrees 180 degrees yeah you're right that's what we said earlier now you can try i never try i never really read it or try but that's what i guess right we can make them as the in the midterm yeah. you just try to prove it Okay, everyone try it. Okay. <laughs> Any questions? Someone still puzzle have some puzzle. Is it clear? Now do, do you need to uh, play with the matrix to have a deeper understanding, right? So I assume you're okay. Now I want to uh, go over this on uh, how to construct the matrix. What am I losing one slide? Oh, okay, I have two slides. Now, C not gate, right? That is good. I, I, we want to take this opportunity to understand better what a matrix represents, right? Let me draw it again, what a matrix looks like. And actually, I won't mention everything. I will just uh, make this uh, simple. Let me write down the matrix one more time of this Toffoli gate. Okay? 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. 
zero 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 one zero 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 one zero right and then i keep going for six row right i know very well what's going on so one two three four five six right zero zero one zero one zero okay what does it mean actually for each column for each column you think about this when you do a multiplication on a vector a0 a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 a7 this one is referring to i have a0 component of 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 one one zero one 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 is that okay what does it do you actually this one is going to be take the how much is going to multiply to the components of zero zero this one multiply to component of zero zero one right and then the whole thing you add together then becomes zero 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 so in some, this one, basically, in each element, T, I, J, row and column, right, is actually equal to I, T, J, as I told you earlier. It's just a, a sandwich of this product, right? It's telling you that how much, in order to have the, after rotation, to have the I component, it's telling you, how much of the J component of the input vector will contribute? So basically, in this matrix, you can treat the row as. Now I'm going to make it simple. I'm going to change it to. Uh, no, I cannot because I want to show you something. I still use the uh, uh, the binary. This is zero 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 one zero one zero zero one one. One zero zero one zero one 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 zero one one one. This row representing after multiplication, uh, where these elements will go to. They are going to, going to contribute to the coefficient of this final state, right? And then on the top, this one is representing what it is going to. Uh, how do I say? Uh, overlap with, right? Right? One zero zero, one zero one, one one zero, one one one. Yeah. Say, say louder. Last second row which one this one one zero zero one zero one are you talking about this so one zero zero one zero one oh this row is for one 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 Okay, what should be the value of this one? What, what, what's wrong? No, no, no. A matrix has nothing to do with the content. This row represents how much you contribute. For example, when you do this multiplication, right? This row, multiply this row, give you the components for one, 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 correct? How do you get the output of this one? This row multiply this row give you the components for one one one. This row multiply this column give you the components of one one zero. 
That is how you do matrix multiplication, right? Loss with this one? Yeah. No, because this is T matrix. This is not identity matrix. The T matrix is zero one one zero. This is the Toffoli gate. Control not gate, right? If this is one one, that is identity matrix. This one. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you that how to read this matrix because I want to construct from a lower space. But we, you know that already, but I want to show you one more time. Uh, bring your attention that how you do the matrix multiplication. When you do matrix multiplication, you do this row times this column. What does it mean for each of these elements? It means how much component, how much overlap of this final, right? Each row gives you the, fine, the, the component of the final basis vector, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1, right? Because this row times this column gives you the component of 0, 0, correct? This one times this column gives the component of this column, right? The last row times this one gives you the components of 1, 1, 1, right? Now, and then for each of these, actually, it tell you that how much come from 0, 0, 0, how much come from 0, 0, 1, how much come from 0, 1, 0, when you do the multiplication. Okay? So, now, if you look this carefully, you see that if I decompose, I can cut this into this. When I cut into this, what's so special? Look at the first one, the most significant bit. They are all zero here. The most significant bit, zero, 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 one, 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 one. Do you see that? Right? So that is how the matrix works, right? The most significant bit, the, 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 most relevant gates can be decomposed in this way, right? So this is, uh, I call it MSB. Now, then let's continue to decompose it. I will only decompose up to the second most significant bit, right? Look at this. Isn't this a zero? One for the second most significant bit, zero, zero, they are all zero. These are all zero, right? This is one, one, right? But for the here is zero and this is one, right? For example, these four, they both have the second bit one, one and the second bit one, one, right? So same here, zero, one, zero, one. 0, 1, no, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, right? Again, for example, this block, I have the least, the second most significant bit, they are all 1 because they are 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, they are all 1, and here they are all 0 for the second bit, right? So that is how it is constructed. Um, so the green, is the second bit, right? So I, I won't continue. If you continue to cut it, then you will see the third bit will just keep cutting, right? And so you, you see that in order to construct this bit, you will see that this part is the identity, right? And it is identity when the first bit are all zero, right? And then for the second part, this is uh, it's zero, it's nothing. Everything is zero, I can ignore it. What is this gate if it is two qubit? Is it only all? Exclusive all, right? Control not gate, right? Let me write it verbally. Which color to use? This block. to say so i will say this part right
when m s b zero zero the rest is i okay this block when m s b is one the rest is control not that's what i want to say right it's not easy this one uh, also took me a long time to understand right but i want you i don't need you to decompose to this way but my approach is you trust me like give you the equation in the future you use similar approach when you do that you try to construct it to verify make sure you get the right answer if you are not clear so by doing all this that's what i say how do i construct the matrix i can say that this is equals to the t gate equals to when i write zero zero this is the first bit this is the msb Right, the left one, tensor product, the identity matrix, but it is the two qubit identity matrix, okay? Or uh, this is I tensor product I. Plus, when it is one one, it is the C naught gate for the two qubit. Okay, let me finish this then. Maybe you ask first. Is there a methodical way of, I see how you kind of started partitioning the matrix and then kind of guess to arrive at this solution. But is there a moment? No, if I give you the matrix, this is the only way you can do that, right? I'm doing it based on matrix. But you, you, you can have other understanding. For example, you know this is a control, control not gay. Then you already know that if the first qubit is zero, I should have an identity because it's control control not right. And then the sec <coughs> the second one it should be control not because it's control control not. Then if the first qubit is one, then it must be a control not. Think think about that. Let me show this first. Okay. So what is zero? What is this in column four? Huh? One zero. How about this one? One zero, right? What is the matrix form of a two cubic gate uh, identity gate? One zero 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 zero. Okay, good. How about the second one? What is the? Oh, I need to wrap up quick. Okay, so this zero one. Zero one. Control node, you already know. One zero 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 one zero 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 one zero zero one zero. Right? I just redo this. This is one zero zero zero. Do you see that? Right? I just do the whole thing to save time. Zero 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 one. Okay? So if I put this in how do I do the tensor product? I just put this one zero 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 one zero 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 one zero 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 one right times one right and then these are all zero zero times the whole thing and then here again all zero right except the lower corner I'm going to multiply by one zero 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 one zero 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 one zero zero one zero right and add you together you would get the top 40 k right uh i hope you can think about this because this have a very in the, uh, a lot of things to you think about to appreciate okay so we we'll stop here today thank you